um, starting eleven. I suspect we are going to play the four three three. You know, um, in which case, you know, or four two three one or four three three. But you know, we've got two holding etc. Um, and then your cam, and then right and left and whatever. So going into this season, right right now, we can't talk about potential signings, De Jong or whatever. Right now, how do you see, what do you see as Manchester's best starting 11? In fact, I might actually clip this to make a, make a, bit, make a video, you know, so I'll, I'll upload one separately. But what would you say right now is Manchester United's, like, best starting 11 going into this season? So De Gea and Ngo. Okay, let's That's go. That's clear. Okay, let's go for um, De Gea. Then we have um, right back, easy Dalo. Dalo, so, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Ooh, keep them doing that. It's not that one. Dalo, yep. Yeah. Okay, fine. Um, left back Malaysia. Okay, so it's saying not Tellez, not something. We're definitely saying uh, Malasia. Malasia, yeah. Um, okay. oh, center so back. Your thoughts on the chat as well. So, be a gone. The center back pairing, Maguire definitely is going to play. Really? You yeah, think Maguire, you think it'll be Maguire and Lissandro or Lissandro and Varane? I'm still thinking it's going to be Lissandro and Varane because I don't know. I don't know how you bench Rafael Varane if he's fit. He's not fit. That's the problem. Like, he, I, yeah, he's not fit. I think he's injured still. He's injured still. Okay, yep. Yeah. So it's going to be Maguire, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he's not been featured in preseason, has he? No, I mean, I mean, I think he played behind closed doors. I think he mm. appeared, but mm. I don't think he's 100% fit. So, and come on. The, 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 Ten Hag said Maguire is his captain. He's not going to bench his captain. So Maguire is going to play. And I think it's gonna be Martinez, yeah. yeah. Um, let's let's have a quick look at so Linda will be dropped. Let's see what the chat are thinking. Um, so right now I will go back to him, but um, right now I put De Gea, Dalovran, Martinez, Shaw, Fred Van Beek, Fernandez, Ericsson, Marshall, Sancho. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, I would say that this is. I mean, actually, to be fair, this is supposed to be. The best starting eleven. So being on the best, I think would be best. Um, I'm assuming you would agree that Varane is better, which is better than Varane. So it's all our best starting eleven going in. As opposed, you to know, I, I to be honest, I'd rather have Maguire there. As I mean, at this really? point, no. Here, here's the thing. Okay. Varane is a better center back, mm. but Varane, for whatever reason, he just cannot seem to be fit. Mm. I mean. I'm very, 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 very extremely concerned about Varane's um, availability. Mm. There, I feel like there is simply no excuse for him to be injured like this. For the, mm. I mean, I understand everyone's body is different, but get your body right, bro. Like, how are you injured throughout the whole uh, preseason? This mm. makes no sense, you know? Mm. I mean, I just, for me... And Ten Hag is probably going to feel the same way. Mm. Maguire, one thing people, as 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 terrible Maguire is, one thing, his biggest asset is his availability. Mm. Maguire doesn't seem to get injured a lot. Mm. So that's something that you cannot say about Varane. Varane, like, he plays, he, if he comes back, you mm. had to hope that he plays the next game because or else he might be injured. So mm. for me... We need to build something, so I'd rather just have Maguire there because I know he, he's gonna be, you know, he's gonna be reliable for me. I mean, that, that's just the way I'm thinking about it. I'm just this, right now, I'm not thinking about Varam because he's not available. He's so not available. Is, yeah, I agree. I, I don't disagree. Yeah. Um, Box has got a good point here about this how this the inconsistency of season. Yeah, we got 59 days against West Ham, Spurs, and Arsenal, but could only get 11 out yeah. of and Burnley and Norwich, who all went down. So that, that's yeah, I, that's. United to we were unable to beat Watford last season. We didn't beat them once. Yeah, it's just, just so this is this is what I'm saying. Um, right into the midfield, it's gonna be McFred, isn't it? Yep, it is. 
It's going to be McFred. Yeah. Let's, let's keep it a stack. It's going to be... Ooh. <laughs> like, I, th I thought that was the one thing you're going to be shocked about, but I'm um, glad we're on the same page. Like, uh, it's going to be Frick Fred. <laughs> be Fred. I, I don't see... And, he's, and we've seen Van Der Beek playing in more of an advanced role. Um, and I, I can't put De Jong here, here because, you know, there's no confirmation of that anyway. So... I mean, what, the only reason... What only, midfielders do we yeah. have? There, there, there's no... Aside from if you want to say Garner maybe should step up, um, but that's it. It's going to be McFred again. The only reason Van Week even started because McTominay got hurt, apparently. Mm. It was like a precaution to take McTominay off because he got injured. And it was like half time. It's like he got like a knock or something like that. But if people thought it was like a tactical thing, but it wasn't. It was because no. McTominay couldn't go on, continue. So they love this. They, they love this McTominay kid. I don't. I don't really understand. I don't, I don't get it either. Bro. I don't get it. I mean, at a stretch, he's 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 a good box to box. He can be a decent box to box midfielder. I, I can give him that. But outside of that, I I I, I don't really know. I, I I really really don't know. I don't get it either. I just don't see what he offers us. He's not the best passer. He's not the best ball progressor. He, you know, I think the best thing he can he does. I think the thing he does the best is actually run with the ball, but even that, he just doesn't do that better than anyone else. I don't know. All right. But it is what it is. This is this is what the team is going to be. Yeah. This is what the team is going to be. So there you go. So McFred in the midfield. So who plays in this position? So, I mean, personally for me, I think Ericsson should play here. Um, I think, and, and I think Bruno should be dropped. Um, There's no way Bruno getting dropped. <laughs> not gonna be dropped, is he? No, no, <laughs> no way. And Ericsson will be, will be, will be swapped. That, that's what's gonna happen. Um, no, uh, no. That's be, so. I'm not, so we're gonna put Bruno Fernandez here. I think he's gonna use, and this is my theory about Ericsson. I think it, I, I think Ericsson is gonna be used as like a utility player. Hmm. I think Ericsson is gonna like be. I mean, Box says, I'd like Ericsson playing with Bruno. So Ericsson on the left, Bruno number ten. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there is, there is, there is, a, there is a case to be had there where Ericsson plays on the left, you know, and then you play. You know, although Sancho played on the left quite a bit last season as well, you know. So these are the things you have: Marshawn, Rashford, who want to pop the left, mm -hmm. Sancho who play on the left, Ericsson who play on the left. So you know, really. You know the right is going to go. I, I I don't I can't I can't have Marshall not playing the right. I can't have another season of Rashford trying to play on the right. Um, so it's got to be Sancho, truly. And he looks. I don't I don't understand why I see fans really want Sancho to play on the left when all preseason he's been playing on the right. Hmm. I feel like sometimes like we just gotta. Sometimes I understand managers will say one thing and do another. That's why you got to look at this manager's actions. If the manager wanted Sancho to play on the left wing, he would have played in the left wing, for God's sakes, you know. He's been strictly played Sancho on the right wing, which means next in, in this upcoming season, he sees Sancho as his right winger. Mm. So for me, it's like, I don't, one thing I don't understand about what, I, I feel like there's like a gender driven base, uh, fan base. I feel like this, guys, just it can stop with all this agenda and just look at things in terms of how they fit. If we, this is the team we have, so we had to put out the best team that we possibly can. So if that's the case, then we understand that Rashford is a better left winger than he will ever be on the right. So why do you people want to put Sancho on the left and put like what Alanga on the right or a Martial even, on the we don't, right? We don't even have we we don't we, we, we don't even have like a Derfa right wing aside from Sancho and possibly Ahmad and Ahmad are the only the right wing options the United have right now. I mean I mean he's been Sancho has been killing it this whole preseason playing on the right, but mm. people are so I, I just feel like people have set this massive agenda, massive hate towards um, Rashford, and they don't want to see Rashford as their left winger. They just don't want to see. Well, so they, one... well, well, this is the key. I mean, uh, finishing off because, like, because I think what's going to depend on is one. Let's say stick with Sancho on the right for now, because I think that's going to be the case. 
you now have two positions and you have two positions between Martial, Rashford, possibly Ericsson and Ronaldo. Now, I don't know whether Ronaldo is going to stay at the club. Um, I'm going to sort of, I'm going to go in this with um, Ronaldo, um, you know, Ronaldo not playing for United again. I'll keep yeah. it that, you know, so because I just think that it, it's a similar thing to what happened. At, I just get Juve vibes. Yeah, same. So I'm going to go in it and assume that Ronaldo is not going to play for Manchester United. Although this Sir Alex Ferguson conversation may be the difference. So I don't know what's going on behind with, with that. So I'll, I'll, but I'm going to go in this with that Ronaldo isn't going to be playing for Manchester United. So with that being said, you know, you just, the only other number nine option you have right now is, is Anthony Martial. So Martial will have to be United's number nine yet again. And in which case, on the left, it's between Rashford, Ericsson and Elanga. Now, I'm not 100% sure that Ten Hag actually rates Marcus Rashford yet. Um, and we did say this is the best. So is the best option on the left. Now, Yassi, you've got to put your bias to one side. Yeah. Um, players, when you could Ericsson, Alanga, and Rashford, who is the best? And the chat, likewise, what do you think? Who is the best option to be on the left out of those three players? People are not going to like what, what people are not going to like what uh, to hear what I have to say because I think I'm going to be biased. But I just <laughs> don't, yeah. I just don't think Alanga is better than Rashford, guys. Let's be honest here. I, on the left wing, I don't think Alanga is a better player than a Rashford on the left. And I mean, I won't mind. I will. I will, I will actually love to see Ericsson play on the left wing. Okay, we'll put Ericsson there then. Yeah. So for me. You know what? I'll go with Ericsson. You know what? Screw it. I'll mm. go with Ericsson. Even though, even though, really, truly, it's Rashford, but let's go with Ericsson. Well, we've done it in a way where we've been able to get all of Manchester United signings into the squad, yeah. you know. Um, so this, I think, right now, is, is realistically Manchester United's best available starting eleven because, you know, Ronaldo's probably not going to be there. And as you said, Varane, is incredibly injury prone um so it's probably not going to be involved so based on most likely starting and availability 11 you know De Gea, Mal Mal Malasia, Martinez, Maguire, Dallo, Fred, McTominay, Ericsson, Fernandez, Sancho, Marshall and obviously this might change United, United might sign a right back or they might or De Jong might sign we might get a midfielder um, but right now, I think that this is probably the best, you know, United uh, starting eleven. Would you disagree? No, 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 no. I I don't disagree. 